We've had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 as it carries SES-12 to geostationary transfer orbit. Eagles We're coming up on max Q here in a pressure. few seconds. Max Q, remember, as we increase our velocity, pressure increases, but then we're going through less dense atmosphere, so pressure decreases. Everything after max Q means the scarce density is decreasing the pressure on the vehicle. So we're going to come up on a few events here in short succession. It's MECO, Stage SEP, and then SES-1. MECO is main engine cutoff. That's when all nine engines on first stage stop firing. There follows stage separation, when the two stages gently separate from each other. And then the third event in that succession is SES-1, which is angel. second engine start number one. We'll see those here in a few seconds. stage performance. And we're coming up on the next major event, which is the deployment of the fairings, those aerodynamic shields surrounding SES-12. FDS is safe. And the fairings have deployed. So to recap all that quickly, we had max Q, max pressure, and then the main engines cut off, second and then the stage stages separated, nominal. and then we had second engine start. Yeah, now this is the first of two planned burns yeah, that the second goal. stage will conduct. Then the fairings deployed thereafter, exposing SES-12 to space. We don't need that extra mass once we're outside of the atmosphere. We no longer need our aerodynamic shield. Now, a quick note on the fairings. While we aren't attempting recovery of the fairings today, we have been attempting to recover fairings during our West Coast launches. Now, last launch, we got pretty close with the fairing landing about 50 meters from Mr. Steven, which is our catch boat, and we will continue those recovery attempts until we're successful, but not on today's SES-12 mission. So we're going for a few minutes here. This burn is, again, six minutes long. We've gone through about two minutes of it. So this will continue for another about four minutes, and then we'll reach Seco 1, which is second engine cutoff number one.
And if you're just joining us, we again had a successful liftoff of the Falcon 9. It's carrying the SES-12 payload to geostationary transfer orbits. Second stage has separated and is about halfway through its first of two planned burns. It's currently T plus six minutes. We have about two and a half minutes left in this first of two burns for the second stage until we enter about a 17 minute coast period. So again, the second stage is carrying SES-12 to its geostationary transfer orbit. Two minutes remain in this burn. Stage two trajectory continues to be nominal. Checking in again, we're at T plus seven minutes. The second stage is still burning. This burn is again six minutes in full duration. There are, is about 80 seconds or so remaining in this burn as it glows ember red there. After this burn concludes, this will be Seco 1, second engine cutoff number one. And then second stage will coast with SES 12 for about 17 minutes before it lights again. Stage two terminal guides. Now we've reached T plus eight minutes, 20 seconds from now, this burn should conclude, marking Seco one, second engine cutoff number one. Stage two FTS has saved. If I back cut off. And then you heard the call out for successful cutoff of the MVAC engine. Now the nine Merlin 1D or uh, Merlin 1 engines on the first stage are different than the single engine on that second stage. That second stage engine that just cut off is called MVAC-D because it's designed to function optimally in the vacuum of space. It's housed inside the rocket's inner stage when the two stages are still attached and it's designed to burn for about six minutes and can be shut down and restarted multiple times to deliver payloads to different orbits as they're needed. Uh, nearly identical to the first stage Merlin engines in shape, MVAC-D is modified with a slightly larger nozzle to maximize efficiency in low pressure exhaust conditions like space. So with that shutdown of the first of two burns, we're now going to break for about a 17 minute coast and then we're going to come back for coverage of the relight of that MVAC engine and then the deployment of SES-12.